Space. Stop record windows. Hello and welcome back to another JAWS tutorial. My name is Keith and today I am going to show you how to create a uh, or set up an email account um, from an AOL email into Microsoft Outlook 2016. I'll be using JAWS 17 and I'm on a Windows 10 computer that is that has the most recent update. So let's get started. The first thing you want to do is come into your control panel. So you want to go to your start menu. Search box edit, type in tech. I hit my Windows key to get to the start menu. From here you want to tab until you hear all items. Tab, microphone button, tab, start list box, toggle tab, all apps checked. All or all apps, I'm sorry. So now from here we can get to the uh, a certain point in our list with a uh, because it's alphabetically ordered, so I'm going to use a character and I'm going to use W. W weather. Because I'm looking for, um, I think it's Windows System Files. You want to down arrow until you find that. Wild tangent game Windows accessories for Windows administrator tool Windows defender sick Windows ease of access folder Windows media player Windows PowerShell folder Windows system folder collapse. Yep, Windows system folder. So from here we're going to hit enter. Enter command prompt. And I'm going to down arrow one time. Control panel. And I hear control panels, so I'm going to hit enter on that. Enter. Mail dash control panel. Mail up there in Microsoft Outlook 2016. Right there. Mail up there in my Okay, so I guess I'd already had the control panel open. So I am going to quickly do that again because I want to show you, you know, from a fresh start. So. Alt F4. JAWS Professional. Search box edit. Tab, tab, tab. All apps checked. All what, win, 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 windows needy win, windows system folder Con enter com, con enter control panel search box edit okay so when you hit enter on control panel it should immediately put you in a search field inside of your control panel from here you want to type mail so m a i l and down arrow one time mail mail up there and, and you should hear mail mail up there in microsoft outlook 2016 right there and left there and, as well as your default mail client from um, now you want to hit enter enter mail setup dash keep main dialog email account setup so now we're inside of our mail setup um, it puts your focus on it puts my focus on email accounts dot 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 but email accounts and that's just a list of your email accounts you um, I don't really do much inside of that folder so uh, from here you want to tab until you hear user profile tab data files dot tab show profiles dot dot or show profiles you hit enter on that. Enter mail dialog general page. Keep main. Okay, now it should bring you inside of a uh, a box where your mail, whatever email accounts you have, are located, and then you want to tab tab add dot 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 until you hear add, and that's usually it's right after it. And you hit enter on add. Enter new profile. Profile name colon edit. Type in text. Alt plus N. So from here, this creates a profile, and this is gonna. This is what you want to name your profile, um, and, and that's how it saw uh, or seen. And I'm gonna name this one testing. Testing. Enter. Add and account enter. dialog. Type the password. Your internet service. Okay, now it brings me to where I can set up my email account now under this profile name. Email account radio button check. And it shows that um, your focus is on an email account, which if you choose a selection, you, it automatically finds the settings that your server requires for incoming and outgoing mail. Um, so, but AOL is a little bit more, a, a little bit, Further to get it connected, so we're gonna down arrow one time. Manual setup or additional server types. Right. Manual setup or additional server types. This is what we want, so it is selected. So from here, we're gonna hit tab. Tab next greater button. To that. We come to a next button. I'm gonna hit enter on that. Enter example colon element can also dot office 360. Okay, now here's where we choose what type of account so it's not an office account we're going to down arrow pop or IMAP radio button check this is what we're looking for pop or imap so um we're gonna 
it is selected, and so we're going to hit tab. Tab, list back button to activate tab, next greater button. So you get to the next button, you hit enter on that. Enter email accounts, user information, email accounts, your name, colon, edit, type in text. Okay, now we're going to set the email account up. Your name, colon, edit. The first thing it does, it asks for the name, so I'm going to say, um, test jaws. Test jaws, tab, email address, colon, edit. Now here it asks you for your email address. I've created an email address just to show you this, so, um, just type your full email address. So, Black at zero AOL dot com. Com tab account type colon combo box top three. So here's your account type. Here you want to just hit I for IMAP, and then you can read your current line. I am. And you can hear that it selected it. From here, you want to hit tab. Tab incoming mail server colon edit type in text. Alt plus so I. the incoming mail server. This is how it it receives the mail that comes in from the that, that it pulls in. So we're going to this here is I map no spaces all lowercase dot Emma, period AOL dot com com tab outgoing mail server left fair and SMTP right fair. So your out outgoing mail server the SMTP, it's Simple Mail Transfer Protocol. This is set to all lowercase SMTP SMT AOL Al dot com. Com tab, username colon edit. Like the username, it, it should already have it in there. Username colon edit, like zero three two four at Al dot com. And it does, you want to keep it as the full email address again. Tab, password. Here you want to type your password. And you want to hit tab. Star, 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 tab. Remember password checkbox checked. So clear check mark. You press space bar. This, Alt plus R. What this is is every time you open your Outlook account under this email, if you don't want to have to type in a password every time, you, you keep this selected. If you want to have to type in a password every time you open it, you deselect this. So we're going to leave this selected. Tab. Require log on using secure password authentication. Left parent star right parent checkbox um, not checked. So check this checkbox we're also going to leave unchecked. Tab. Mail to keep offline colon left right slider 100. So the mail to keep offline. We're going to keep 100% of it off, off, um, offline because we, we don't want it. Mail to keep offline colon left right slider 100. Yeah, because we don't want any mail left offline. So Mail to... Tab, more settings. Then we're going to, so we come to, after we tab, we come to more settings. Here, this is where a, it, it gets important. So you want to hit enter on this. Enter, internet email settings dialog. Black 0324 now. Okay. It, Type the name. I it's going to open the general page. And to get through these tabs, you can hit control tab. And you're looking for your outgoing server. So I'm going to hit control tab. Outgoing server page. So outgoing server page here. Let's read current line. My outgoing server left fair and SMTP right fair and requires authentication checkbox not checked. So it it requires authentic authentication authentication. So that here we want to keep we want to check this box. Space checked. And then we want to tab again. Tab use same settings as my incoming mail server radio button checked. Yep, we want that to be checked as well, and then. From here, you want to hit Control Tab again because we're done inside of this tab. Advanced page server, and you come to your advanced page. This is important because the settings that they originally have for the default are not correct, so you have to change them yourself. So you want to hit Tab. Tab. Use the Faults button to activate. Press Space Tab. Advanced None. Use the following type of encrypted connection. Okay, we're shift, shift, shift Tab. tab. Incoming server left pair. So as soon as you go to your advanced tab, it puts you inside of where you want to be so you, when you get to your advanced tab you want to read the current line incoming server left fair and input right fair and colon edit 143 so the incoming server port is not 143 it is 993 993 and then you can tab tab advanced none use the and then you tab again and you come to um what protocol it wants to send this through and right now there's it's set to none so there's no security it requires a security an SSL so we're going to down arrow one time read current line SSL slash TLS 
and you can hear that now it's SSL slash TSS. That's what we want. So now we can tab again. Tab outgoing server left parent SMTP right parent colon edit 25. So our outgoing server, the SMTP, is not 25. So here you want to change this. It is 587. And you can tab from there. 587. Tab advanced none. Use the following type. Um, it requires a, a, a security as well. So we're going to down arrow one time. SSL slash T read current line SSL slash TLS and you hear that it's the SSL slash TSS again now from here let's let's shift tab to make sure that it's still set to 587 shift tab outgoing server left parent SMTP right parent colon edit 25 type and text and it is not. So. so we're gonna type 587 again it did this to me earlier and I'm not sure why it changed on me let's see if it does it again so I type 587 out 587 outgoing server read. left parent SMTP right parent colon edit 587 okay let's tab tab advanced SSL slash TLS use okay I'm gonna shift tab shift tab outgoing server left parent SMTP right parent colon edit 587 type okay it did not change at that time I guess that um I'm not sure why that happened so tab advanced it happened to me when I did the test trial for this tab server timeouts left right so now you just want to tab through these items because we're we don't have anything else to mess with. We're gonna tab till we hear OK. Tab advanced truthful tab. Do not say tab. Mark item tab. Purge item tab. OK button to activate. Okay, press I'm space bar. Enter on this. Enter mail dialog. User information. Add account dialog. User information. Okay. Next creator. And then it brings us back to where we set up our email account and it puts us right on the next button. So I'm gonna hit enter on this. Enter. Add account dialog, user information, test account settings dialog, stop button to active. So now what it is doing is it's processing and it's running. It's working on trying to connect to the incoming mail server. And then it also will um, see if the outgoing mail server is working by sending you a test message. So I'm going to hit um, read my current line, the insert up arrow. Close button. Okay, we got a close button. I'm a tab. Tab, test account settings, list box, list box, send test email message, colon, your server does not support the connection encryption type you have specified. Try changing the encryption method. Contact your mail server administrator or internet service provider. Okay, I got an error because I was mistaken about the outgoing server. It, I guess, uh, because when I set this up earlier, I didn't use an encryption, but when I read about it after that, it said it required one. So what you can do from here is tab errors tab to switch page tab close button to activate. close this. So you just tab twice back to close. Enter mail dialog user information add account dialog user information next creator. So it puts us back where we set our email account up, and it puts us on the next button. If you shift tab shift tab less back button to activate press shift tab more settings dot dot. And that's two shift tabs, and you are more settings again. So we want to hit enter on this. Enter internet email settings dialog. Black zero. So we're back in our email settings, and we want to get to the advanced tab. So we're gonna control tab. Outgoing server page. Advanced page. We're back on our advanced tab. Now I'm gonna tab through these items until I get to the outgoing mail server. I want to make sure that it's still 587 and I want to change it to none on the encryption standard. Tab, use default button to activate tab, advanced, SSL slash TLS, use the following type of encrypted connection, colon, combo, tab, outgoing server, left parent, SMTP, right parent, colon, edit, 500. So it's still, it's still 587, so I'm going to tab, tab advanced, one SSL time. slash TLS, use the, and I'm going to change this back to none, none, and it might have changed my server back to 25. Shift tab, outgoing server left parent SMTP right parent colon edit 25. And it did, so I'm going to change it back to 587. 587. And now I'm going to tab until I hear OK. Tab, server tab, advanced tab, do not tab, mark item tab, purge item tab, OK, but enter mail dialog, user information, add account dialog. OK. Next creator. You read your current line, you hear that it's on your next button. I'm going to hit enter on this. Enter, add account dialog, user information, test it, stop button. And now we are waiting. Close again. button to activate. Oh, press and it's space done bar. already, so I'm going to hit tab. Tab, list view log on the incoming mail server, left fair and image, right fair and status colon completed. So now you can hear. And you're inside of a list of the tasks that this just um, tried to do. So if you read your current line, log on to incoming mail server left parent image right parent status colon completed. You hear that it was able to complete the log on. 
Log on to incoming mail server. And if you down error, you'll hear. Log on to incoming mail server. Left Farron Nimble. Right Farron. Status colon completed. Send test email message. Status colon completed. You'll hear send test message status completed. So from here we can tab. Tab. Tasks tab. To switch. Until you hear close. Tab. Close button. To Hit enter on that. Enter mail dialog. General page. Add account dialog. You're all set. We have all the information we need to set up your account. You're all set. We have all the information we need to set up your account. Set up Outlook mobile on my phone. Two checkbox not checked. To check so press space bar. So you can hear that it's set up like we're supposed to. And you can... You can check this box right here that it just read to me. Set up Outlook mobile on my phone. Two checkbox. To where you can set up Outlook on your phone. Um, I don't use this because I use an iPhone and I use the mail app that they provide. So I leave it unchecked. If you tab. Tab. Add another account. Dot. You can add another account if you would like. Tab. Finish button to activate. And we come to the finish button. You want to hit enter on that. Enter. Add dot 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 button to activate. Press space bar. Alt plus D. Testing. Okay. Now I'm going to Alt F4. Alt F4 out of the control panel. Alt F4, mail dash control panel, mail left fair in Microsoft Outlook. Mail dash, Alt F4, JAWS profession. And I'm back on my JAWS window. I'm going to open my Outlook. Search box edit. Ooh, T, Outlook 2016, enter. Choose profile. And I'm going to choose the profile. It's the state testing graphic 744. Testing. I'm going to hit enter on that. This is the email we just created with AOL. Enter, opening dash Outlook. Inbox dash black zero three two four at dot com dash outlook list box to move. Okay, you can hear that we're inside of our inbox inside of Outlook. Home unread Microsoft. If you hit home and you read your current line, which is your most recent email. Unread Microsoft Outlook Microsoft Outlook test message ten. You can hear where Microsoft Outlook sent you a test message, and we knew that because they told us they did, and that is how you set up, um, Microsoft Outlook with an AOL account, AOL email account using JAWS 17 and uh, this is version 2016 of Microsoft Outlook. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please let me know. Um, I apologize for the error we ran into, but I, I like to keep things like that in there because just in case you were to run into that as well. Um, uh, please like and subscribe and I'll be putting up more videos soon, so keep watching. Thanks. Alt tab, JAWS profile, Alt tab, Ops 20.4.